Knowing Our Lord. Who created you? Who gave you your hair and your eyes their color? Who said how tall you would be and what color your skin would be? And who created your mother, your father, and your friends? Who created mountains, trees, the sea, the sun, and the moon? Who created cats and dogs, squirrels, giraffes, and the other creatures? Most of you will all answer these questions in the same way. God created us and everything else. Of course, this is the right answer. So how well do you know Almighty God, the creator of us and the whole universe? God has revealed himself to us in the Quran. In this film we will get to know God through the verses of the Quran and try to get closer to him. God is the first. He existed before everything. He is the first and the last, the outward and the inward. He has knowledge of all things. The world we live in is part of a very big universe. Through history, people have wondered whether this huge universe had a beginning or not. In the 20th century, it was proved that it had. In 1929, a scientist by the name of Edwin Hubble observed that the universe was always expanding. Starting from this fact, scientists made an important deduction. If one went backwards in time, the universe would get smaller and a universe that was getting smaller would eventually become one single point. So the universe came from the explosion of this tiny point. But here we have a great mystery. Explosions always damage things around them. An example of this is the eruption of a volcano. Such explosions destroy things in the area. They knock down houses and uproot trees.
The explosion that formed the universe was much more powerful than billions of volcanic explosions. But, unlike other explosions, this one formed the universe with a perfect order. This shows that a creator with infinite power fashioned it. And this creator with infinite power is Almighty God. God created the explosion that gave birth to the universe and from this explosion he established the perfect order that exists in it. Before living things, planets, and the whole universe were created, there was only God. He is the first. God forgives the mistakes we make. Whether you reveal a good act or keep it hidden, or pardon an evil act, God is ever pardoning all-powerful. We all make mistakes from time to time. We may fail to consider all aspects about something and make wrong decisions. We may behave incorrectly. But God created us. He knows our weaknesses and forgives our mistakes we have to recognize our mistake and repent so that we don't do the same thing again. That is, we have to pray God for forgiveness. If we are sincere in this behavior, God forgives our sins and pardons us. He tells us in the Quran about the importance of sincerity. God only accepts the repentance of those who do evil in ignorance and then quickly repent after doing it. God turns towards such people. God is all-knowing, all-wise. God knows everything. God knows the unseen of the heavens and earth. God knows what the heart contains. God knows everything. He knows the heavens and the earth and every living thing in between. He knows what happens every moment. He knows the people who are born and who die every minute around the world. He knows how many leaves fall from every tree in the world. He knows the billions of individual stars in the billions of galaxies in the universe. He knows everything we could ever put in a list. He reveals in the Quran thus. He knows everything in the land and sea. 
No leaf falls without his knowing it. There is another point we should never forget. God knows what we think and everything we do, secretly or in the open. We may hide something we have done from other people, but we can't hide it from God. His knowledge embraces the whole universe. God is the Magnificent. Everything in the heavens and everything in the earth belongs to Him. He is the Most High, the Magnificent. God's magnificence is beyond our comprehension. But when we look at what He has created, we can grasp His greatness. We can see how powerful He is. The sky that holds up tons of clouds. The mountains that rise thousands of feet into the sky the seas containing millions of kinds of different creatures, the forests where many animals live. These things and many more that we can count are among the clear signs of God's greatness. God does what He wills. He is God. There is no deity but Him. He is the King, the most pure, the perfect peace, the trustworthy, the safeguarder, the almighty, the compeller. There are some arrogant people around. They think they are better than other people. They think that the qualities and abilities they have belong to them. Sometimes they even act arrogantly toward God. But this is very senseless. No one came into this world because they wanted to. and they don't know when their life will end. They did not choose any of the characteristics they have. It is God who has given us all the qualities and talents we have. Furthermore, He can take back what He has given any time He wills. God is magnificent and He does what He wills.
God gives blessings to human beings. Truly God, He is the Provider, the Possessor of Strength, the Sure. God has infinite mercy. We can survive thanks to the blessings that He gives. God makes the plants which are for us sprout from the earth. He brings green plants and spikes of grain from the earth without even cultivating it. Yellow, red, green and orange fruits and vegetables come from the earth. God covers a 4,500 Celsius degree mass of fire beneath our feet with earth. He brings down tons of pure water from the sky. He fills the blue seas with thousands of different kinds of creatures. Every moment God creates the oxygen that fills our lungs. We can't count the number of blessings God has created for us. This fact is revealed in the Qur'an thus. He has given you everything you have asked him for. If you tried to number God's blessings, you could never count them. We must never forget that God has given us these blessings. We must remember and thank him at all times. God heals sick people. And when I am ill, it is He who heals me. When we are sick, we realize how weak we are and how much we need God. He has created hundreds of different kinds of sicknesses to remind us that we are weak. An invisible virus that makes a person unrecognizable, or a germ entering our bodies that sometimes cannot even be identified, are clear signs of God's power. Experiments and research done by scientists to destroy one single virus show us the supremacy of God's creation. Because it is God who gives sickness, it will pass only when He wills. If He wills as healer, He will take away the sickness He has given. If He does not will it, all the doctors in the world with their advanced technological devices and latest drugs cannot make a person better.
All drugs are a mean to cure illness. If God wills, He will give permission for a person to be cured by therapy. If He does not will a person to be cured, even a simple illness can cause that person's death. This being the case, what we should do is remember God's infinite power and pray to get well when we are sick. Let's think again. The Almighty Lord has created us and given us many different blessings. His power is over everything. He knows our inner thoughts and everything we do. He forgives the mistakes we make. He cures us when we are sick. What we should do is come to know God very well and obey His commands. God reveals in the Quran everything in the heavens and the earth glorifies God he is the Almighty the all-wise the kingdom of the heavens and the earth belongs to him he gives life and causes to die he has power over all things he is the first and the last the outward and the inward he has knowledge of all things